Recently, investments such as Bear Brick, uh, Rolex, uh, Pokemon cards uh, are becoming very popular. And people are wondering, hey, Mingtek, should I invest in stocks, properties, or should I go for this as a beginner? And I would like to share some tips for you to choose here. So first of all, one special thing you need to know are these are two types of investment. The first type are what we call productive assets. Productive assets are things that produce. Produce means what? I'll give you an example. You buy property, you can rent out, means you can create cash flow, you can generate rent. So it's producing rent. You buy stocks, it's giving dividend. As a business make money, it's giving you dividend. It's producing something. Buy oil palm land and you have a plantation. It's producing oil palm where you can sell for money for cash flow. But when you buy non-productive asset and you just hold, it's not producing anything. But it can also make money. Let's say if the team comes, the trend comes, people start to collect, or the one that you buy become very rare and become high in demand, then you could still make a handsome profit from it. Now, but if you look from a perspective of longer term, which one is safer? Well, if you want more secure way, more likely to make money, I would think productive assets are more secure in a way. Why? Let's say you buy a property for 500,000 20 years ago and you could rent it out for 1,000 a month. And after 20 years, maybe the rental has increased to two to 3,000 now. But over that 20 years, you may have collected about three, four, or even 500,000 in rent alone that would have paid off what you pay for this property. So essentially, you already break even even before selling this property away. So in that way, over the long run, it's more secure because you don't need the price to go up in order to make money. Just by holding it, you could make money and even recover your capital. But if you're investing in non-productive asset, you need the price to go up. You need the trend to come. You need it to become rare, which in a way there is more uncertainty and risk. But of course, if you are trying to be creative, can this be a productive asset? Yeah, possible. If you rent it out, if you lend it to other people for fees or whatever, then it also become a productive asset. So what I want to say here is generally, as a rule of thumb, most investors will agree that in the portfolio that you have, most of the thing that you invest in should be productive asset and non-productive asset should be only a small percentage of your portfolio. If you look at people that buy expensive watches or all these things or collectibles, all these things in the scope of their net worth is a small part only. It's not the majority of their net worth. So that is something that you need to keep in mind. Now, if you talk about non-productive asset, I may not be the expert in it, but if you talk about productive asset, especially stocks, if you want to discover how to start investing as a beginner, where to find capital, how to make a first profit and generate more consistent income from there, got a good news for you. Let's go ahead to the button below, click on it and register because I have an upcoming training free where I'll guide you step by step how to start investing in productive asset. My name is Ming Tech. I hope you enjoy watching this video as much as I've enjoyed making it for you. Just go ahead the link below, register for my training, and I'll see you there. Let me guide you how to start investing in stocks. Bye-bye.